let us understand some important terms related to screw jack. Screw jack is used to lift the load. Load is placed on the screw head and the screw head is rotated with the help of lever. We have to apply the effort at the end of lever to rotate the screw head. As the screw head is rotated, then the screw will move in the upward direction about the axis of the screw. Now we will understand some important concepts. So first is lead of screw head. So this lead of screw head is nothing but the up, it's a movement in upward or downward direction about the axis. So how we can understand this? The axial distance moved by screw for one complete revolution. So particular lead word is used for the distance moved for the one complete revolution that is for one complete rotary motion what is the axial distance moved by the screw in upward or downward direction this is known as lead of the screw now next important term is pitch now this pitch is related to threads on the screw so there are threads on the screw and the distance in between two consecutive or successive threads is known as pitch now how we can relate this lead as well as pitch. So for the single threaded screw this lead is equal to pitch and for double threaded screw this lead is equal to two times of pitch. Now we will consider the diameter of screw is small d and the length of lever is we will take here with capital R from the axis of the screw that is the distance of end of lever from the axis of the screw is capital R. Now we know that at the end of lever we have to apply effort and this effort will be P. So I will show here effort P is applied at the end of lever. Now it is applied in this direction so we can say that about the axis, uh, axis of the screw the direction of rotation of screw is in this direction now this P at the end of lever is equivalent to P1 at the other end that is in the opposite direction of the screw so I will show here P1 so this P and P1 are equivalent about the axis of the screw if we observe this diagram, this P and P1 both are in opposite direction about the axis of the screw. So we can write the equation P multiplied by R is equal to P1 multiplied by this distance is D by 2. So we can write P is equal to P1 by R into D by 2. Now we will move to the first case when load W is lifted in one revolution. So we know that in one complete re revolution of this lever what is the load is getting lifted and this load lifted that is the axial distance moved is known as lead of the screw head and it is denoted by small p now we will compare this case with the load is placed on the inclined plane so when load W is placed on the inclined plane, then here is the angle of inclination theta. So I will show here angle of inclination theta. And we know that load is lifted, that is the direction of movement of load W is in the upward direction on the inclined plane. So the movement of load is in upward direction. So frictional force will be we have to show in opposite direction. So I will show here the direction of frictional force. Now this vertical side or the opposite vertical height we have to show with the lead of the screw head. So its a notation is small p. So I will show here small p. And what about this nearby side? So this nearby side is known as the perimeter of the screw. So perimeter of this screw that is equal to pi into small d. So I will write here pi into small d. Now when load is lifted then how we can write the effort. So effort P is equal to this d by 2R. So R we know that the uh, length of the lever from the axis of the screw. d by 2R into W. W is load. 
tan of theta plus phi. So phi is the angle of limiting friction. So how we can convert this into coefficient of friction? So we know that mu is equal to tan phi. So we can write the formula in terms of mu as P is equal to d by 2rw as it is. Now instead of tan theta plus phi we will write mu plus tan theta divided by 1 minus mu into tan theta. Now we will move to the second case. Now when we rotate the lever in opposite direction then this load w will move in the downward direction that is w is descending in one revolution so the axial distance moved by the screw head is also known as lead of the screw head and it is shown with the help of small p so we have to show the descending of this w that is if we compare this with load placed on inclined plane then this load is getting descending that it, it is moving on the downward direction on the inclined plane so i will show here this is the load w here is the angle of inclination theta here this is the lead of the screw that is small p and this line is nothing but perimeter of the screw that is pi into d now how we can write the formula so here this movement of the w is descending so frictional force we have to show in opposite direction and this time we have to take this frictional force with negative sign. So what is the formula? So effort applied P is equal to D by 2RW tan of theta minus phi. So here theta plus phi and when W is descending we have to take tan of theta minus phi. Now how to find out torque? So torque is applied to the rotational motion. So we know that torque is nothing but this force multiplied by perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. So this is the axis of rotation. So this P into R is equal to torque. So how we can write the formula for torque? So if we take here uh, R to the left hand side then torque is equal to D by 2W tan of theta minus 5. So this is the formula for the torque. How to write the formula for velocity ratio for the screw jack? So velocity ratio is the ratio of distance moved by effort divided by distance moved by load. So effort is applied at the end of lever and that is equal to P. So this lever is rotated in one revolution. What is the distance covered by effort? That is equal to this perimeter and about the axis of rotation that is equal to 2 pi into r because r is known as from the axis of rotation that is it is radius so this perimeter is known as 2 pi r so this is the distance moved by effort now what is the distance moved by load so load is placed on the screw head and this screw head is getting lifted in one complete revolution the screw head is getting lifted in one complete revolution is known as lead of the screw head. And this lead of the screw head is shown with the help of letter small p. So we can say that vr is equal to 2 pi r divided by small p that is the lead of the screw. Given question, a load of 40 kN is lifted by a screw jack. The screw having 3 threads per 20 mm length and 40 mm in diameter. Calculate the force required at the end of lever 400 mm long measured from the axis of the screw. Coefficient of friction between screw and nut is 0 0.12. Let us understand the given data. Load W is given 40 kN. Now 3 threads is having length 20 mm. So how to calculate the lead of the screw? So it is equal to pitch of the screw and that is nothing but distance in between two successive threads. So we have to find out the distance in between two successive threads. That is we have to find out the length for the one thread. So for three threads 20 mm length is given. So for one thread 
here is the question mark so this unknown term how to find out so suppose we will consider this term as a x then 3x is equal to 20 so x is equal to 20 by 3 and this is nothing but the lead of the screw that is the value of small p now diameter of this screw is given that is the value of small d is equal to 40 millimeter we have to find out effort applied at the end of the lever. So this effort is known as P. So how to find out this value of P? Now the distance of the end of lever from the axis of the screw is given. So from the axis of the screw this distance is R. So capital R is equal to 400 millimeter. And the coefficient of friction mu is also given 0.12. Now we will first find out lead of the screw. So lead of the screw that is the value of small p 20 by 3 is equal to 6.66 millimeter. So this is the value of p. Now we know that load is lifted. So when load is lifted we have formula to calculate effort p is equal to d by 2r into w mu plus tan theta 1 minus mu tan theta now value of mu is given but what is the value of theta so theta is the angle of inclination so when the load is lifted so here is the theta then opposite side is known as p that is the small p that is pitch and which is equal to 6.66 and the, uh, this nearby side is nothing but perimeter of the screw that is pi into d so tan theta is equal to, so from this triangle tan theta is equal to opposite side P divided by pi D. Now D is given 40 millimeter. Now if we observe all the units are in millimeter. So we are not going to change these units. So 6.66, so this is also in millimeter. So this millimeter and millimeter is getting cancelled. So tan theta is equal to 0 0.05305. So we will put all the values because D is known 40, capital R 400, W 40 kilonewton. So here unit is kilonewton. Mu is also given, tan theta is also we have calculated. So answer is also in kilonewton 348.3.